Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Girls Band Cry. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The area, um, gives very much Coachella vibes, I like that. Not mad at that. Do what you gotta do. Hella cramp, Jesus. Maybe because of budget, probably? That too. Yeah, do you have enough money, Nina? Just write the subtitles like that. <laughs> oh, that was cute. I don't think you'll be on, from what we saw, they weren't on the main, main stage. So they're not going to, they, they will get a big audience, but not like extremely big. Hmm? <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, so that's why we started with the night portion. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll be on the smaller one. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be like Coachella. <laughs> Yes, but for you guys, your tiny little stage is still going to be a big stage. You'll still get a lot of people. So don't fret. Don't be upset about it. Just you work it like you always do. Yeah. Excuse me. It's mainly due to last week. After last week and finally getting the clarity that she need from her dad, but really both of her parents, she's not the same Nina that we know. She's she's more of like an enhanced version, and I really love that for her. Mm-hmm. We hope, Suru, like, at least before this series is over, that she does tell her grandmother about this. I, I still get it on why she is scared, because, you know, criticism. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Blows off steam. It helps you with anything. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? There's nothing wrong with that. No.
Once again, not a beer girl, but you know, hey. Shouldn't you guys call her? I love how we're finally getting to hear another one of their songs because we've only heard the one Momoka has had.
<laughs> yeah, not until we're done. As much as I want alcohol, just as much as anyone else, after we're done. Put your hands in. All right. Okay. Raise the pinky.
Once again, she's grown so much, and I love it. Oh, my God. Okay, I will say, this song was the best song. I mean, all their songs are good, but something about this song... Think about how there is that one song that very much for... It could be from a singer, it could be from a band, any group. Um, but since we are specifically... This is a band show, we're going to talk about bands. When your favorite band or bands have that one song that really resonates with you, that speaks to your soul, that is there, a song that you are, that is always there within your time and need, whether it's good or bad, that is instantly being like, this is how I genuinely feel in this moment. That song is literally just conveying all of their emotions into one and so I think audience wise, and not only myself, but anybody who also watched this episode on Friday can definitely relate to that. And, it, and it's taking all these thoughts and emotions that you feel about yourself, the anxiety that we get, how sometimes it gets overwhelming day to day, um, the good and bad things that we, you know, deal with on a daily basis. And sometimes those feelings can overwhelm us a lot and in such because like for example with me like I said I, as I said on the freaking community tab I was not having the greatest week this weekend or really this week slash weekend and even though tomorrow was the start of a brand new week I hope next week is a lot better for me um and such because you just never know what the heck is gonna happen in your life because one minute you're at the highest of highs and then you go from the lowest to lows but um, when you listen to a song, a band, something that just resonates with you, it just makes your whole day better. And I think a lot of people, you know, specifically fans who did watch this episode or even the fans who were in the, um, 
and the audience watching this performance and stuff definitely was like, damn, like, this is something I needed, like, a while ago and such. Sibiru finally sending a message to her grandma and seeing her grandma being there at the performance and such was a very good highlight. I do love that. Um, I love that she is, like, she's all in with this, that she... Excuse me. I should not be getting tired after the most time that I took. I took a nap today. Um, she's supporting her on this. And that's the biggest thing that you want from your loved ones is that no matter what you do in your life as a career, that you have people who are your support system that support you in anything you do. Don't be nitpickers. Stop nitpicking. I, 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 I despise people who nitpick so freaking much. And, and that's also what happened to me this week. Ain't gonna talk about it, but still. Don't like people who nitpick all the freaking time. And that's what I feel like we're into. Um, he's laughed was a couple of weeks. But yeah, no, this was a damn good episode of performance. Mwah, top tier. Diamond does finally getting another song and stuff and not having a moment where we just only get to see like a little bit of a performance and then we move to something else. Thank you. I needed that. Finally, I really would like to see, you know, maybe a spinoff episode or series potentially with Diamond Dust so that we could see the other side of this story because we're only really seeing, you know, this groups. We're only seeing the Momoka, Nina, and everyone else's story. And so we would like to know about the rest of the girls specifically, like how those three were after Momoka left and then before the new girl came in. You know, that would, I think that would really set the record straight on a lot of things. Yes, they could still connect it with this show as well, but who knows? It's just an idea that possibly needs to be true one day. I'm just saying. Come to fruition. You can do it. You surely can. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futurist episode 11 of Girls Band Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday. BTW, as I said in the um, irregular the and the misfit videos that are also going to come out tomorrow. And then also, I'm probably not going to say what Pretty Cure because Pretty Cure came out today. Um, but I got a little situation with work this week. Um with everything that is coming out this week for this week and then another week coming up. I'm going to be a little busy, uh, very busy between this week and another week. Um, so I just want everybody to know, like, if things even now don't come out, just know it is coming out. Just give me a moment and such. But this week, I, my butt is going to be kicked a lot. So just bear with me. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.